All right, you guys, what's up? Sorry I can't be live on Zoom today, but I wanted to make sure that you have something to practice. We've already practiced um, arm bars, kimuras, triangles from the bottom guard position on the bags. We've also practiced attacks from si top side control and top mount position, like arm bars and triangles from there as well, okay? Knee and belly transitions, all that stuff. I'm going to show you some things today that are not uh, currently on our playlist, our YouTube playlist. So some different techniques from the bottom today, and I'm going to be showing on two different bags. So if you have a versus bag, that's great. If you don't have a versus bag, but you have like a heavy bag or a weighted bag or a sandbag or even a pillow, you can be creative with these. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do it on both, and yeah, some different techniques for you today to practice. So I'm going to keep my bag standing up. If I have a versus bag like this, I'm going to start with my legs crossed around the bag over here. So what I want to do now is I want to sit up. And as I sit up, I'm going to practice rocking from the elbow to the hand. And I open my legs. And I'm on my right hand right now. So I want my right knee to tap down toward the mat as I bump the hips. Now my left hand reaches through. Okay, as if I'm trapping their arm and bumping them over with the hip bump sweep. And I'm going to return. Other side. Knee down, bump hips are based on my right hand and my left foot. My left foot is based, right? Hips are bumping. Dang. See my foot here bases. Left hand, right foot. Hips come up and bump. So I'm just going to alternate sides. Boom. Boom. For about 60 seconds. All right? So hip bump sweep, exercise number one. Number two, uh, I'm going to kind of start sitting up, facing the back like so. If I put my right hand down, my left hand is going to hug the bag. I'm going to scoot twice to the left side. One, two. Like that. Look how I keep this knee up, this one down. All right. Now I'm going to do three scoots. The first one is going to be center back up. One. I'm going to switch my hands. And I'm going to do two more scoots to the other side. One, two. Center up. Switch the hands. Two scoops. Center up. Switch the hands. Two scoops. <sighs> These are things that you would be doing in like sit up guard position, hugging the leg right now. You could also sim be simulating an underhook sometimes from the guard, or moving towards the back. All right. Once again, it's moving side to side for another 60 seconds. Okay, exercise number three, you're going to be back in your closed guard situation here, like this. And from here, you want to, if I'm going to put my left foot down, I'm going to shrimp to my right shoulder, bringing my left knee across the top. So at a 45 degree angle, point it up. My right leg now is just going to pull my hips in tight. Okay, and now from here, I'm in like a scissor guard position. I'm just going to center back up, and as I center up, I'm going to dig my heels in a little bit to scoop my hips. All right? And then again, focus on my right foot this time. Out, knee up, and then my left leg pulls me in nice and tight. And now leg comes down, heels down, center up. Now, every time that you shrimp out, you also want to push. So, that's almost always the deal with the shrimp, whether it be from under the mount or under the guard. If I'm shrimping from under the guard, I'll be pushing with the shoulders. All right, so boom, push, scissor guard. Reset. Shrimp, knee up, pull in. Scoop back to the bend. Time, shrimp out, pull the knee up, use the bottom leg now to pull your hips in nice and tight. And now both legs come down and scoot and square you up. And then we're going to make a side shrimp out. Make sure I've created space, knee up, close that space back off, center back up. 
Uh, once again, about 60 seconds on that side. Okay, exercise number four. This time, I'm going to start with both legs on one side. Like this, I'm going to put my hands in the bag and shrimp out a little bit and bring my top leg over like this. And if you have a nice base on the bag, that's nice. It's kind of like my opponent's hips, okay? And I'm going to use that to pull my other knee through now. Switch to the other side. Shrimp. Over the top. If I don't have a base, I just put my foot to the ground here. Pull through. Always returning the hands to the back. Alright? So when the leg comes over, like this, I can be with here, I can be here, I can even just be here if, if needed to be. But as the leg comes over and I pull my bottom leg through, my hands come off. Look, once his foot hits the mat, I shrimp and go right back to the bag again. Relax this leg, bring this one over. This is a really good guard recovery technique. Do it again for about 60 seconds. Like that. All right, last one's a little bit more complicated. So on this one, I start again with both feet, one side of the back. Now this is my right hand, right leg. So my right hand is gonna come under my right leg for a second, kind of touching the back. And then my left hand is gonna reach across as I come over. I'm kind of doing a gramby here to get inverted, all right? Now, to finish this off, I want my left hand to go to the far side and my left foot to go to the far side. And now that I can push off the bag and complete the spin. Oh, all right. And then I need to scoot out. I do a shrimp style scoot, pull that foot through. Now we're going to the other side. So now I'm on my left side close to the bag. Left hand comes under, right hand goes over, we go upside down. And now to complete the cycle to the other side, my right hand comes across, my right foot comes across underneath uh, the left, and we just swing the side around. Hip escape out a little bit, reset. Hand, foot, Bend. Hip escape out a little bit. Reset. Under. Over. Get inverted. Hand. Foot. And we're going to open up. And swing. that once again for about another minute all right so there's five exercises to practice you can practice on the versus bag i'm going to show you again now how to practice on another bag